so I came out, we did a rescue this morning. We have to go back tomorrow. It's the Koi Rescue Pond. I can't put my video out until Rich puts his out, but I have to have a video tomorrow. So I'm gonna go through, uh, you know, the fish room here and everything real quick because I gotta get a video out. So let's see how this one's doing. There's our African lungfish. He's doing awesome. There's that geo. There, they are so beautiful. Okay. All right. And let's go inside. The dog is gone. I don't know when. It had to be like yesterday or so. But yep. Do oh, look who's right on top. Hey, everybody. You say you never see them, but look. It's the bus turtle. He's looking right at everybody. He's like, what's up, dude? And we finally see him with his mouth open. Boy, I wouldn't want to stick my finger in there, that's for sure. But yeah, awesome. He's over here. That's the first time I've seen him since uh, Brian Barczak got him out of the 5,800 pond. 58,000. Yeah. And of course, all the rays are doing good. Everybody's doing good. Everything looks good in 4400. Yeah, so we got to go back tomorrow morning and finish. Uh, we took the ladder that we thought was going to be sufficient. I told him we needed a 40 foot, and yes, we need a 40 foot or bigger. That noise looks so cool. It looks like it has. Well, that's not the that noise. <laughs> that noise over there. I forget what that one is. What's up, Mr. That noise? What's up, buddy? He's got the coolest eyes. I don't know. But yeah, so uh, the, <laughs> this thing was like 70 by 50 or something. It was huge, but it was mostly drained out, but still not enough. Uh, even though there's only about two foot of water or so, or three foot. But we're going to go back tomorrow and uh, go ahead and dump some more water, drain some more. The edges are pretty good, so they've had it done for a bit otherwise we would have sank and nobody really sank except for hoover he did sink uh and we got that on video so you'll see that and uh rich got his foot stuck too because <laughs> he lost the, the netting when we were doing that i got that on video now i'll show that but again that's going to be uh probably my next video because rich is coming out after mine mine comes out tomorrow which is going to be this one then Rich will do uh, the one on what we were doing today. And then I can do behind the scenes on that one. Oh, there's nothing in here. Everything's gone. Cool. Cool. How nice, huh? So he's been not eating, but he's been taking food and spitting it back out, as you heard Big Rich on the Friday Night Live show last night. But uh, hasn't uh, been sucking it down, but at least he's interested now. Uh -oh. And uh, I don't know, but probably this week we'll get all this stuff moved around as well. Like I said, Doobie's gone, so we can clean up everything because he did make a little bit of a mess. So we got to clean that up. And everybody doing good in the platinum or albino tank. And just checking on tortoises. Hey, what's up, Chopper? What's up, buddy? Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. Good boy. All right. And, of course, a fancy goldfish. That yeah, beautiful white koi, man. She is so beautiful. That is, I love that, that white one right there. It's beautiful. But, of course, one of my favorite fish, period, now, is that yellow dinosturgeon. 
He is just so cool. And man, I like the lights on this tank. They really do work good. This tank really lights up now. Much better than before. And South African tank. And cool. Wow. Has he always been in there? He looks so uh, dark and big compared to the rest. Hmm. I don't recall seeing you, buddy. Okay, Frontosa's Peacock. And we got one hiding, of course. And we gotta get all these tanks, of course, clean, but one thing at a time. First, we'll finish the rescue. And snapping turtle. And the power pack is gone on that, so we gotta get another power pack. That's what happened with that. And let's check out the back pond. Alright. Yeah, it's getting dark. It's like, uh, I think it's almost 5 o'clock. We should have been home at 4 o'clock, but, uh, yeah, ran out of gas. What can I say? Uh, that'll be in the video too. So, but you saw how uh, Josh pulled all that up and look at how nice that looks. I mean, uh, we gotta get all of those out of there. They're just terrible. So, but yeah, all those, uh, they're all pretty dormant, just kind of sitting in there. Can't really see much. There's some in the corner, some there, and some there. Can't see anything else. The reflection and everything. But boy. There's no more leaves that come down, really. There's a few on the trees still, but not much. So, alrighty. And Rich and Josh and who are acclimating the koi that we brought back tonight. Again, you'll see that in the video. I can't show much. And that was donated by Willstar a couple years ago, man. That's that, uh, Bird of Passion, I think. Passion of Birds, some Bird Passion, something. It's growing good. And we even got some new growth growing on the uh, elephant ears. Which, you know, they take time. They give go in shock and then start growing again. All right. So, I'll get my butt home. And I'll show you my tanks, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> I, got, I wonder if, uh, let's see if we can get Brutus to... Pop the water for us. Because he doesn't do that a whole lot anymore. So when he does, it's always cool to see. Come on, big boy. Where are you coming? You coming, Brutus? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Here comes the little guy. I'm not sure if Brutus is going to want to go or not. You ready, big boy? Well, let's see what happens. Nothing! Oh, look at our little one, though. He sure does like them. He snatches them up. Yeah, we'll throw a little out for the cichlids. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Brutus, buddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so I gotta get out of here. I gotta get home. And we'll get this video made. All right, I'll see you guys on the flip side. All right, uh, sorry, I apologize. Uh, I <laughs> didn't know we were doing a combined one. Sometimes the communication gets mixed up, probably on my part. <clears throat> and uh, so uh, what we were doing today, I thought I was going to be putting out, which I'm glad it didn't. I mean, this is going to be pretty cool the way me and Rich did this. Um, you know, I had the bristle nose that have had, uh, you know, the babies here, and they actually had them a couple of times now, and <clears throat> one of them's in Dawn's tank. There is a bigger one in here, too, but, oh, there he is, right there on the back on that rock, if you can see him. But most of them, <clears throat> I don't know what happened to them. They just, like, seem to disappear, <laughs> so... I'm like, forget that. I got this from Rich a while ago. It's a little tank. And I finally ended up getting a little, you know, filter, uh, sub-filter, this and that. And I moved 
20 of them in there yesterday. And there's another one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's another eight, nine, ten of them in here. Easy. Uh, I'll get them out tomorrow. But yeah, and there's some more stuck over there in the corner, you know, so I want to see if I can uh, get them to grow out, you know, so All right, but yeah, we got to get back out there tomorrow So we're gonna have some interesting videos coming up the pond was actually huge and the koi wait till you see them So you guys stay fishing my friends hit that like subscribe and share and we'll go deeper with a reaper